Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. Glad to be here and share another word with you about a ten minute message on the, on the fact that we need to look to the Lord and uh, I praise God for these messages and may He bless them as they go out all over the world. Amen. I want to speak to you on the new man and the old man. The Bible t tells us about the new man and the old man. Now the new man is the inward man. The old man is the outward man. Now when we were saved and born again and became Christians, there was a new birth. Jesus said you must be born again the second time. And we're born again by the Spirit and, and the Lord gives us a new spirit when we're born again. And we have a brand new spirit. The Bible says in Ezekiel the 36th chapter, the Lord said, I will Take away that old evil nature that's in you when you believe in in uh, in me, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit, and I will put my spirit in you, and you live for me, and I will be your God. And so he's saying there that he gives us a new spirit. Jesus said the same thing to Nicodemus when he said, "You must be born again." And so it's important that we know this truth. Now, when we're born again, we have a new spirit, but we don't have a new body. When you're saved, you don't get a brand new body. Your old body is still there, and it, it's going to get old and die uh, one, one day, someday in the future. But, but the inward man is renewed. It's brand new. And one day when Jesus comes back, these bodies, these old bodies, are going to be renewed and become new like his own body, eternal, forever, blessed of God. But while we're here in this life, we got to care about this old body of ours, and it's called the outward man, the old man, and the, and the new spirit in here that he's given us, the new heart, the real new, that's you. It's, it's the inward man. It's the new man. And all oh, we need to recognize that. Over in the book of... Uh, of, uh, of John in the 16th chapter, we find that uh, Jesus teaches us that the Holy Spirit is in us, and therefore there is within us in our new spirit and the new man the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said in John 16:13, "I will give you another Comforter, the Truth, which the Father will send in my name, and He shall teach you all things. He shall teach you. He shall take the things of Christ." and reveal them unto you. And so the Holy Spirit lives in us as Christians. He lives in you, dear Christian. And He speaks to you in your heart. You can't hear His voice like you hear mine, but you hear it by intuition. And that's important that you hear the Lord speaking to you through your conscience and through your new spirit. And that's important. It's important to know also that in the book of uh, of uh, First. Uh, uh, Colossians in the first chapter it says that we know this truth that is Jesus Christ is in you the hope of glory so you see you have Christ in you the hope of glory he lives in you dear Christian and so power of God is there and that's important we need to see that we need to see it over in the book of uh, first Corinthians we read these words in uh, in the 8th chapter of Corinthians, Paul, Paul the mighty apostle, said, I, I, I keep my body under uh, subjection to my inner man. I keep my body under subjection to my inner person. Now, Paul had the same problem we have. You see, the devil tempts us through these old bodies of ours, through the outward body. He tempts us. And therefore... <coughs> We must not allow our bodies to rule over our spirit. But we must, like Paul, he said, I, I studied to, to show and to keep my body under, sub, uh, under uh, keep my, my body uh, under subjection to my spirit. And so we must seek to keep our bodies under subjection to the spirit that's within us. And that's important because that's where we're living. Now the Bible teaches some more about these things for us over in uh, in the book of Colossians again in the third chapter. It says, Now uh, I, I appeal to you to put off 
the old man with its lust. Put off the old man with its lust and its greed and its selfishness and unbelief. Put off the old man and put on the new man which is created unto truth and godliness with God. Put on the new man every day. Put off that old man and put on the new man. And so we need to do this on a daily schedule. We need to say, Lord, today I want to commit my life to you. I commit my life, my heart to you, Lord God. I want to live for you. Help me overcome every temptation of the flesh that I shall face with this body. And help me not to allow my body to rule, but allow my spirit to rule over my body. And that way you'll begin to live closer to God. You'll find a way when there don't seem to be a way. You'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. You'll find God in finding Him. you find life. And you find Him more abundant. You'll find then that surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you'll dwell in the house one day of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise God for that. That's a glorious thing. Oh, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Over and again in, in the book of Ephesians, in the fourth chapter, it says again that we're to, to again, I, I adjure you that you clothe yourself with a new man and put away the lust and evil of the old man. And so the Bible teaches us that it's up to us to every day say, God, give me grace to put down that old man, that old desires of the flesh and seek to feel and know the will of God and the desires of my spirit and my heart that loves God. Oh my precious God loves you. He loves you with all your with a heart with a love that you'll never know. He loves you with a splendid eternal love. And he loves you enough that he gave his only begotten son for you. And Jesus loved you enough that he went to that cross and died for you. And praise God, he loved you enough that when he left, he said, I'm coming back to dwell with you in the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's in you, and he's in your life through the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's in you, the new man. So always try to keep the new man strong in you. Keep always close to Jesus. Pray and ask God to forgive you every day when you make a mistake. Keep close to the Lord. Read your Bible. It'll help you put on the new man. Read your Bible and pray. Pray much through, during the day because when you pray, you're putting on the new man. And Lord God will do it. Try to find you a good church and support it and worship God with his people and that'll help you put on the new man. Oh yes, take God. Take time to be holy. Look to God. And then seek to live by the inner person. Seek to live by that inner person. The hand of God will guide you. The Holy Spirit will speak to your heart. And you can hear. And you can know. And you can do the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you've never accepted Christ, I pray you'll ask God to forgive you. And ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. And help you live for Him. And He'll do it. And you'll be a born again Christian. And you'll find God's way is right. And you'll walk in it and find peace. May grace and peace be multiplied to you, dear friend. Praise the Lord. Find your good church and worship God with his people. And so it is we need to listen to the Lord through our spirit. And put on that new man so you can hear the Lord speaking to you in here. In your conscience and intuition. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. Speak that my soul may hear. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. Calm every doubt and fear. Speak to my heart, oh speak to my heart. Speak to my heart, I pray. Oh, yielded and still. Seeking thy will, oh, speak to my heart today. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. Calm every doubt and fear. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. 
Teach me I've nothing to fear. Speak to my heart, oh speak to my heart. Speak to my heart, I pray. Oh, yielded and still, seeking thy will, oh speak to my heart today. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. God loves you and I love you. And may the hand of the Lord be upon you. And remember, put off that old man. Put on the new man in a daily, daily walk with God. Amen and amen.